commentator Graham Norton brands Britain's Suri a national heroine after she soldiered through her performance to finish 24th despite being interrupted by a stage invader. The BBC's Eurovision commentator Graham Norton has labelled the UK Suri a national heroine after a stage invader snatched her microphone mid-performance. The Eurovision Song Contest was rocked when the British entry was forced to stop singing Storm by a man who was quickly dragged off stage by security. Yet the 29-year-old soldiered on with her performance, earning her the praise of the BBC host and many others on social media. After Israel won the competition for the fourth time, Graham Norton, who appeared stunned after the stage invasion, said, That is a terrific result for Israel. I'm afraid Suri, for all her braveness and professionalism came 24th. She really is a national heroine after tonight. It was extraordinary. I don't know how she coped in those horrible circumstances. A lot of people will be watching her performance and cheering her on because she did a terrific job for the UK, and it's a shame that wasn't reflected. Shortly after the competition, Sue retweeted, Well, I've always said anything can happen at Eurovision, the stage invader, thought to be rapper and activist Dr. A. C. shouted down the microphone, for the Nazis of the UK media. We demand freedom. Suri was left clapping along for around 20 seconds before she was given another microphone and courageously carried on with her performance. Despite being given the chance to perform again, Suri turned it down, saying she had no reason to take to the stage again. BBC Eurovision tweeted, Folks, this is the latest on the Suri situation. Suri was offered the option to perform again by the EBU. Suri and her team are extremely proud of her performance and have together decided that there is absolutely no reason to perform the song again. The Eurovision Song Contest tweeted that the stage invader who stole Suri's microphone was in police custody, adding the European Broadcasting Union, EBU, regrets the incident. In a statement, they said, the EBU regrets a stage invasion took place during the United Kingdom's performance at the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Final in Lisbon this evening. The person responsible is currently in police custody. The UK singer Suri and her team were offered the option to sing again but decided not to because they were extremely proud of her performance and have decided that there is absolutely no reason to perform the song again. The invader was advertising his book The Workings of the UK State Mafia, U. Came media on his t-shirt. Under the title, he had a message reading, Order this now on Amazon. The stage invader is thought to have previous history with similar stunts after he interrupted the National Television Awards in January as Dermot O'Leary was on stage. He also stormed the Voice Live final last year as Emma Willis prepared to announce the results. Northern Irish talk show host Stephen Nolan also claimed the same stage invader crashed his program last year. The UK arm of Eurovision wrote on their official Twitter account, just to confirm Suri is OK. More news when we get it. Hashtag Eurovision. Sick. Graham Norton said after she was interrupted, we are not sure what's going to happen and if we'll get the opportunity to perform again. He added, she coped so well. I'm in awe of her. Really really terrific job from Suri. The odds of the UK winning the competition plummeted after the incident. Ahead of the competition, Suri was given odds of 401 to win, although that was slashed to 51. Oddsecker spokesperson George Ellick said, bookies have been forced to take action on a controversial moment during Suri's performance. Due to the highlighted attention on Suri's song, punters are piling in on the UK to scoop the competition, something that was unthinkable just earlier on today. Despite the incident, Britain finished 24th out of 26 nations with a points total of 48, down on 111 the year before. Fans have taken to Twitter to hail Suri's courage for carrying on her performance despite the invasion. J. K. Rowling added in her own post, that was everyone who's ever been on stage's worst nightmare and it must have been scary, but what a pro. What a recovery at Sir Official hashtag Eurovision, sick. The physis Cheryl Baker tweeted about the incident, saying, I wonder if they'll ask at Sir Official to perform again? She must be in a state of shock. Where was the security? He could have had a weapon. One wrote, the way Sue rehandled that will go down in the history books for one of the most iconic moments at Eurovision. Very few people could do what she did after that. I would be afraid for my life after that, sick. Whilst another shared. Someone tried to wrestle Suri's mic whilst she was performing her own song. She then carried on. What a hero. Hashtag Eurovision. Sick. Israel pipped Bookie's favorite Cyprus to take this year's Eurovision crown after a protester grabbed the microphone of the UK Suri mid-performance during an action-packed night in Lisbon. Neda Barzilai, singing the popular song Toy which has already racked up more than 25 million views on YouTube, was second favorite prior to this evening's show, but beat Cyprus Eleni Ferreira in a closely fought contest. Eleni Ferreira's performance of Fuego went down well with the judges as she scored highly, but Barzilai managed to narrowly edge the public vote which secured her the win on the night.